is an interesting problem. Um, uh, we have a cylindrical tank with a length of 20 feet, a radius of 5 feet, and a uh, maximum volume of uh, 1,571 cubic feet. Uh, it's desired to make a dipstick that could be let down straight across the diameter of the tank and to mark the places uh, where uh, each mark being an increase of 10% of the volume from the bottom. Uh, a little uh, work with uh, geometry will show that the volume is a function of theta, where theta is the uh, angle subtended by two radii reaching from the center of the uh, center line of the tank out to the uh, rim of the tank or the wall of the tank uh, at the point where uh, the uh, contents is uh, the surface of the contents meets the uh, wall of the tank. It's given by this uh, equation, V of theta is a half theta r squared L minus a half r squared L times sine of theta. Uh, theta runs from zero to two pi. And at zero, of course, the volume is zero. And at two pi, the volume is uh, pi r squared L, which is the uh, volume of the tank. And the uh, some more geometry will tell you that the height as a function of theta is r times 1 minus cosine uh, theta over 2 from the uh, bottom of the tank to a triangle formed by uh, the center and the two radii where they join the wall. So this needs a picture, which I think I'll provide in a later update. So this equation for uh, volume as a function of theta is a uh, transcendental equation, does not have any algebraic solution. So it has to be solved by numerical means. And uh, MathCAD, which I use, has a built-in solver, which I've used here to find the uh, heights for 10%, uh, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 40%, 40%, 50%. And we know that uh, at 50%, that would be 5 feet, and that's shown. 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100 percent. We know at 100 percent it would be 10 feet, which is again show. Uh, so this is a, in some ways, not a simple problem, and I think in subsequent uh, posts I will show an update to where these equations come from with some diagrams. Mm -hmm.